I fell. Damn it. If you need something, I've got your back. I have to talk about the Starborn. Do you have a second? You do, right? Sure. Right? How could we not talk about it for the rest of our lives? It could be the dawn of a new era of humanity. Or it could be an elaborate prank or any number of mundane explanations. Hmm. Well, they were definitely unusual. But aliens seem so inhuman, obviously. I just have so many questions. We just need more data. There has to be a way to draw them out and figure out where they're coming from. Uh, they didn't seem friendly. Well, we definitely got off on the wrong foot, so that's going to be hard to explain. This could be a turning point for humanity, you know? Or it could be just the emergence of a powerful new faction some sort of elite military tech or a gazillionaire with nothing else to do all we know is that they wanted that artifact badly agreed that is going to require more observations more encounters with them and who knows maybe we'll never see them again got a minute to chat maybe a few minutes probably not hours though but no guarantees. You know, traveling with you has been more than just good old-fashioned fun. It's been, well, therapeutic. Hmm. Well, the fact is, you've had my back countless times already, and without you, I'd be exploring some random world alone, not realizing how much that bothered me. It wasn't all that long ago when you told me that you only trusted yourself. So I'm honored to hear you say that. Which brings me back to that plan I mentioned earlier. I think I know how to move forward now. But I'm going to need your help. My help? Contact sent a gift. Seems real to me. So they found an insurance settlement. Irvin's employers got paid as compensation for sabotage. Sounds fishy. It seems that the mining company got a huge payout after they won the case against Irvin. We have the settlement paperwork from their insurance. Tons of money. Oh, also the cyber runner had to move on to other work, but sent me a passcode to some computer system. Oh. I'm not sure what it goes to yet. We can just hold on to it until we figure it out. But anyway, we have enough to move forward. The missing piece here is proven that Irvin was framed. So I discovered that Irvin's original lawyer still practices law. And she'll look over everything we found. Hmm, let's go talk to this lawyer. Oh, detective. I like the sound of that. If I'm the detective... Does that make you my trustworthy and sensible partner with a heart of gold? Obviously. Hmm. Well, I can work with that. Detective Barrett at your service. Anyway, we should take everything to the lawyer and see what she says. Maybe she reviews it and decides we have no case, or we need more evidence. I don't know. If we don't have a case, I can probably let it go. But I have to try. Talk. Fantastic. I knew I could count on you. You're as reliable as an atomic clock. I've sent a list of everything we found so far to the lawyer in Gagarin. You know, I, I actually feel optimistic about this. Lead the way, detective. Okay, he's down my... Okay. Cool. Uh... Who's Andrea? Looking for my. There we go. Argo Hold. Hope Ellie is still taking names and holding people accountable around here. Okay, where are we going? Oh. 
I was just thinking that this is about what Irvin saw all those years ago when he arrived. He probably stood here thinking that he was going to make things better. He had a good heart. I'm going to take care of it, Barrett. Oh, you remind me of him sometimes. Wanting to make things right. And when you said it out loud, you know, I actually believe we can do it. I just hope our lawyer is as confident. Okay, let's go talk to this lawyer. Right. She said she would meet us at our office when we arrive. Hopefully she can tell us what we need to do in order to clear Irvin's name. Let's stick together, though. Gagarin isn't a huge town, but it's not the kind of town that I want to get lost in. Okay, well, let's follow the road, see where it takes us. Found the offices, okay. Uh. Oh, already here. Alright, I'll just sit. Hello. Well, well, well. Barrett, you're actually here. Astounding. Ellie! Ellie, come on. I promised we'd stop by, didn't I? Hmm. People make promises all the time, Barrett. And most folks try to avoid Gagarin, not visit it. Anyway, I'm glad you made it out here. We have work to do, don't we? Have been there other cases like this before? Not exactly, but similar cases. Mm hmm. A corporation commits a crime and needs a scapegoat, so they select someone powerless to target. The quintessential Gagarin tale. Indeed. You handled Irvin's case years ago? Yes. It was my first case as a bright eyed, optimistic lawyer. Well, starting your career with a defeat is rough, Ellie. It was. But in a way, it made me more determined. What do you mean about... What did you mean about the people avoiding Gagarin? It's not a resort. It's a working town run by mining corporations. You don't come here unless you need to. And you don't stay unless you have to. Or unless you're a bright-eyed, optimistic lawyer who genuinely wants to make things better for others. Right, Ellie? <laughs> You're kind, Barrett. Yes, I suppose there's that type of person as well. Let's discuss Irvin's case. Down to business. Perfect. What do you already know? So we already know that Irvin worked for Hephaestus Mining Company years ago. And they blamed him for catastrophic economic and ecological issues here in Gagarin. Yes. He lost his case because he didn't defend himself, and we had almost no evidence without him. What was the judgment? He was publicly blamed for the economic woes, and his accounts were seized in compensation. His account on Gagarin specifically. It was just the amount he was paid years ago for the job. Right. They would have taken his assets and other settlements, but by law, his death prevented it. I didn't Irvin defend himself. I recall receiving a message asking him to appear in court a day after his funeral. An unfortunate reality of interplanetary legal communiques, I'm afraid. We need to clear Irvin's name. Well, we can bring the case to a judge here if we have new evidence or a witness. What about the evidence we found so far? Yes, well, about that. It's just not enough. What happens if we take the case to court with more evidence? Best case scenario? We clear his name and his assets are returned, plus additional compensation. Nothing we found is good enough? Not on its own. No. It's circumstantial. Helpful to support our claim, but not enough. We can't find more evidence. In order for me to go before a judge, I'd like to have some solid evidence pertaining to motive. Why do we need to establish a motive? The courts won't entertain a challenge to its ruling unless we're sure that something major was missed in the original trial. What was the motive from the original trial? We had no solid motive after our witness withdrew his testimony. 
Well, we don't have any other evidence. Yeah, we need something major. Documentation, recordings, a witness, something. It's been so long. How could we find anything like that? I've thought about this a lot since the original case. The mine that Irvin worked at was shuttered in 2309. They probably still have documents relating to whatever happened there with him. Wouldn't Hephaestus destroy the incriminating document? Not necessarily. To Hephaestus, it might be cheaper to run away and let the dust bury it all. Barrett, do you know which mine Irvin worked at? Not really. All I know is that it's a Hephaestus mine from 20 years ago, somewhere on Gagarin. I don't have a couple decades to wait for you to search them all, so we'll need to narrow it down. Point us to the mine where Irvin was assigned to work, please. That's where you come in. I don't know which mine he worked at when the incident took place. In theory, you could find that information on a foundry terminal. If you can access it, you'll need a passcode. That's the hard part. Besides the foundry records, there also might be something in Irvin's apartment. If he knew he was being framed, he might have held on to some documents there. Um. Even the confidential records and salvageable equipment? Seems wasteful. It was probably cheaper than transporting older machines around the planet. Makes sense. Not many people wander around outside of the city looking for abandoned mines. Why lock your door when you're the only person on the planet, right? Anyway, try to log into the foundry system or convince someone to find Irvin's mine for you. Sounds like an awkward conversation. Fortunately, the captain is rather good at those. Hopefully, that's enough to work with for now. If you'll excuse me, I have to get some court documents ready for this case. The Foundry District isn't too far from here. Let's go find it then. Didn't even have time to get my lunch. Ah. The terminal. Hey, my account. Nice. Get a passcode from employee. Tab. Nice. Town used to be forges like this one. Now all that's left. Coordinates look valid to me. Imagine Irvin thinking the same thing all those years ago. Just a job, right? Well, at least we know where to keep looking, right? Mm-hmm. Uh what are we looking for? Essentially any documentation that screams Irvin isn't guilty, we made it up. Let's go search the abandoned mine. Let's see what state the mine is in. It's possible they collapsed it before they left. We just won't know until we get there. If that's the case, we'll just have to figure something out. All right, let's go follow the road. Well, this is it. Irvin's old apartment. Here, use this key. Oh, got the key. Nice. After you, Captain. Now I get why he wanted me to look after his plants. No windows. Insufficient. Oh, did you fix fuck? Oh, 
Where does this thing lead to? Or is it inaccessible? Okay. Urban didn't live here for long, but he certainly had a lot of junk here. I had no idea. Wait a second. What about this safe? I bet it's locked by a terminal. And where is this terminal? Find some digit picks or something, but I. Shower. Toilet paper. That's needy. Oh, notes, notes. Well, I'll be. <laughs> if you ever doubted Irvin's genius, look at all this. Still chugging along 20 years later. Here, you might need <gasps> a couple of these digipics. Got the safe. Uh -huh. Will you look at that? Hey, where's the safe? Town Hall. I bet we can get a copy of that hunting license. Yeah, but where's the safe? Oh, it's over here. Oh, is that Urban's employment contract? Let me see. We've already got the coordinates to mine H363. But this will still solidify the fact that he was there. All right. We've got some solid leads, it looks like. The employment contract and the hunting license at Town Hall. Need more. The more the merrier. Unless you're Hephaestus. Ah... <sighs> It was a bit strange going through Irvin's old things, though. I was hoping for some old pictures, but nothing. <laughs> I did, however, find this odd-looking plant. How is it still alive? Witchcraft, probably. But if you want a more scientific explanation, I have a couple of theories. It could go through states of hibernation or draw moisture from the air the way epiphytic plants do. There's also that habitat dish Irvin set up for it, which gave it light and nutrients. Still, I'm not ruling out witchcraft. What's the story behind this plant? I'm not sure. It might not even be a plant. It might technically be a fungus. But there's probably a reason why Irvin tried his best to keep it alive. When we get back home, I'll go through some of his research notes. It might tell us something more about this plant. Hopefully, it's not poisonous. I don't think it's going to help with the case. No, maybe not. But it helps me. Irvin was the last person to handle this plant. It mattered to him. No matter how the case goes, this warms my heart. I didn't expect to find it, but I love that I did. In any event, I'll go through Irvin's notes in more detail later. There's probably a flowchart somewhere with this little guy's name on it. Oh, <laughs> on that note, we should give it a name. I'm thinking something simple yet refined. What do you think of Harvey? Harvey works. Then it's unanimous. Okay, the three of us should get back to it. You, me, and Harvey have a case to solve. Let's go solve it.
What? What? Hey, so I thought you might like this. I hope you do. Thank you. Oh, quiet. Keep it. Live a little, will you? Anyway, I figured you might have a use for it. I appreciate it. I appreciate I it. didn't pick it up, but then I thought you might have a good use for it. Whew, glad I did. If I see anything on our next expedition to a planet, then I'll hang on to it for you. Feature oh, I thought it was a digipack or something. I need those. So political. This town hall has seen better days. There's nobody here. Oh. Is this the mine? Oh yeah, clear my schedule. Shit, shit, shit. Get him! Get him! Get him, Vasco! Who the hell just... Something back there. I saw. It, I saw it run. Oh, this is fast. Get him, Vasco. Get him, Vasco. Oh, he dead. And they're gone. Just gone. Is that a gun? I'm so ready for this. Are you? What are you shooting at? My favorite they're fine. Okay, you're fine. Sparkling fine, I'll take the sparkling water. No digipix, no digipix. Uh Well, they don't need it now. No, they don't. Nope. See what happened here. Holy crap.
Yeah, this one. No. Fuck. Bingo. All right. Now let's go find Irvin and Helgi's lab stations. Okay, okay so let me leave. I just wasted digipacks. Great. Take that. Frag grenade. Eh, sure. Upstairs. Up. Oh. Uranium. I'll take that. Sure. Behind this door. Oh, exit. Move, Barrett. Here, okay, making sure. There we go. All right, see what do we have here? Or right. iron, I'll pick that down here. Oh, oh, shit! Oh, shit! Uh, Gotcha. What's that? Got it. Ooh. Digipacks. What if we leave a few things here and make a second trip? Was the destruction of the bacterial colonies, not the apex predators. So they ruined the ecosystem here, and it had nothing to do with her. This is it. This is what helped Lights are on down here in deep. Come on. Come on. Ran out. Damn it. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. I know it's not uncommon for them to be always What the fuck is this? It's 
Oh, it's angry. Another one. And off. Oh, I love this part. Oh, uh oh. Motherfucker. Yeah, I don't have any digi pigs. I can't do shit. I have no more digi pigs. This is some bullshit. Who the fuck? Come on. That's why we get along. Oh, that's a level thirty. Did you fix anymore? This isn't good. We have to go back. Can't find any more evidence. Sucks.
Well, that's a queen. Oh. Hey. You're back. Well, what did you uncover? Very can explain. Thanks, Captain. We searched Irvin's apartment and found an application for a hunting license. Compelling, right? It's not much. Practically zero. Is that all you found? Well, we also have a copy of the actual license sponsored by Hephaestus, too. How about that? That's solid evidence, but likely not enough to bring it to a judge. Opening an old case is a higher burden of proof, I'm sure. Okay, now that is a solid lead. Well, don't let me stop you while you're on a roll, detectives. We can talk more later. Where the fuck am I gonna get digipacks? Got some digi packs. Got some digi packs. Please. If I do that, no, I can't do that. I can do that. Would it work? Please, please, please. Yes. Seems like Helgi tried to do the right thing here. I'm sure Ellie would want to see this. He's citing numerous ethics violations dating back to before Irvin's time. And Hephaestus just ignored him. So, do we go back? We go back. Hello? Welcome back, detectives. Ellie, I sent you all the data from the mine already. As I'm sure you know. Yes, I've been reviewing it. Sit down. Let's have a chat about it. Oh? Welcome back, you two. How was the trip to the mine? You're gonna love this, Ellie. You can tell a bear it's a trick case. Okay, someone better tell me. Come on. We found the coordinates to Irvin's old work site and went there. Huge battle. Fire, explosions. Pew, pew, pew. Oh, pew. Barrett, please. You should have seen the plants in there, too. Weird stuff. Anyway... You read over the documents we found there, right? What do you think? What you both found in that mine is remarkable. These documents show that the chemicals released by the mining process contaminated the ecology even before Irvin was tasked with removing the predators. And they also show that Helgi informed Hephaestus of the issue and it was repeatedly ignored. And with that, I think we've got ourselves a case, my friends. Yes! 
That's what I wanted to hear, Ellie. Woo! Yes, but it's still likely to lose. Because what we really need now is Helgi as our witness, and that is a problem. Why is that a problem? Helgi isn't an ideal witness at all. He was our star witness the first time, and he never showed up. Plus, he's got a reputation around town. After he quit, he went a bit weird. Well, I can handle a bit weird. I know the captain can, too. Clearly. But the judge might feel differently. It might be worth finding some character witnesses, too, while you're looking for him. You've got to be kidding me. Helgi's documents are nothing without him there in court, explaining them to the judge. Does Helgi still live around here by any chance? Sort of. He's, uh, unpredictable, though. Can we go to the court without Helgi? We could, but I think we'd lose the case, bluntly. We can verify these documents are real, but Hephaestus can counter by attacking Helgi's character. They'll label him a disgruntled employee and then find a dozen independent scientists to confirm Irvin was at fault. But with Helgi in court, he can explain the science and help me challenge any countering theories during cross-examination. Where can we find him? That's also a bit tricky. He's hard to find. Doesn't really stay in one place for long. The garden isn't huge. We'll look around. You might ask Dr. Kayala. She checks up on folks who fall through the cracks sometimes. You'd have to convince her to tell you where he is. That might be hard. Sounds like we're making a stop at the med clinic. We'll be back when we convince Helgi to be a witness. Listen, if he refuses, then he refuses. Can't force him. Yeah, we don't want to press him too hard. The last thing we need is him refuting what he wrote. This is going to take a light touch, but I think we can handle it. Think? Okay. You think so. Alright, let's go talk to Doctor. Hello, Doctor. Do you need medical assistance? Are you injured? Is there something I can help you two with? Do you happen to know Dr. Helgi Hawkson? We're trying to get his help with something. Sorry, who are you exactly? We're detectives. Self-taught and unaffiliated. Freelance detectives. With the emphasis on the free part. Wait, what? Detectives? Uh, sorry, I don't think I know what you're talking about. Do you treat a lot of the mine workers? I treat anyone who walks in my doors, if I'm able to. Does the name Urban Madani sound familiar? Uh, no, not really. I mean, there's Irvin the Slaughterer and Irvin the Scourge of Gagarin, but I doubt that's the same person, right? You're looking for someone named Helgi. I'm sorry, I'm not a tour guide. You'll have to ask somebody else. We're trying to help him. And Gagarin, actually. Helgi ever talked about working for Hephaestus? <laughs> Only every single time I see him. But listen, I don't have time to chat. We're working with Ellie Yankton on a court case. It's for a good cause. Ellie's a good person. That bodes well, but I can't violate my oaths. I'm sorry. Listen, I can say that Helgi took up a job working at Clint's store just down the way. I saw him there stacking boxes the last time I picked up an order. I've got to get back to my work here, so if there's nothing else... Mm hmm. You like being a doctor? I like helping people. I grew up around here, so I already knew basically all of my patients from day one. My parents both worked the mines, and I saw how hard that can be on the body. Made me want to help folks around here. Sometimes I can feel other people's emotions so strongly it can be problematic. So you're an empath? Mm. Very few people have this gift, or curse, depending on how you look at it. There have been some clinical trials of a regimen that can suppress this talent. Permanently. It's perfectly safe, assuming you're interested. Nah. Take all the time you need. It's a big decision. What time is it? I'm probably too early to pop by Lizzie's for a drink, huh? Alright, let's go. I was thinking about going for a hike outside. 
may not look like I much, where we but there are, are some quality yeah, pieces in here. Just gotta find them. Do you know anyone named Helgi trying to find him? Funny you ask, because I'd like to know too. He owes me a sizable debt. When did you see him last? I've seen him around, but never in one place, except when he needs money. I offered him a job, but he showed up to work drunk one day and I had to let him go. I don't have any ill will toward him. Sure, the credits I'd like to have back, but only because it'll mean he's gotten his life together. How much does he owe you? Enough that he's no longer allowed in my store. I don't like denying service to anyone, but it's the principle of the matter. Uh, I don't want to be mixed up with anything like that. I hear you. I'm trying to be reasonable here. I'd like to tell you, believe me. All right, fine, fine. I don't know where he is, but ask Lizzie up at the bar. She knows everybody. Would you watch for Helgi's character? You sure you got the right person? Helgi and I have had several run-ins in the past. Yeah, and while you're here, maybe see about buying something, eh? You have the packs. Don't mind the mess. I may not be the prettiest stock, but you can count on every piece. These corporate clowns won't even show their face to Ah, yes. Uh, the detectives. I heard about you. A reputation already? I'm impressed. Mm, slow news day, I guess. Can you help us find somebody? There are very few secrets here in Gagarin, my friend. Just makes the ones that exist much more expensive. It is what it is. I serve drinks here, friend. Oh... Uh, we were told that you are a local crime. We serve drinks here. Here's a list of our specials for today. Um, there's nothing on here. Oh, that's strange. Here, let me fix that. Don't worry, it's just the one sale today. Oh, right. Of course, it's a number. Here you go, Captain. All yours. Hmm. The service I provide is worth quite a lot. I'm glad you understand the position I'm in here. In my oh. experience, the right offer is always worth waiting for. Yeah, I hope so. I'm still willing to talk. All right, all right. Consider it a favor. Sending the coordinates now. Wait, so let me get this straight. You want the bartender to testify he's not a lousy drunk? Yeah? I'm full of good points. Just be sure you pay for him. Hmm. Happy to take your credits anytime. No, we got a little bit of everything. There's nobody here. Oh, this guy. I don't suppose you're here to tell me I've won a ticket to a new planet, huh? Sorry, Doctor. Not today. We came to Gagarin to investigate Irvin Mandani's contract with the mining company a long time ago. Ring any bells? Irvin, yeah. Biologist. Hunter. Yeah, I remember him. Why? Who are you people? Hmm. Nah. I don't trust you. I don't even know you. So take a long spacewalk with an empty tank, will you? Please. Irvin was once one of your colleagues. He was the one who faced this blame for an ecological disaster about 20 years ago. Do you remember any of that? No. 
I don't remember lies. It's been twenty years. Twenty! Get out of here. Look, I know this is strange. We show up out of the blue about things that happened decades ago. But right now, nobody save us knows the truth. And that means we're the only ones who can clear Irvin's name. Hmm. Eh, and what of it? You probably think the sky is blue, too. Well, you'd be wrong. It's whatever color Hephaestus says it is. Only if you let them. You're a scientist. Your words matter. That's why we need you to testify. Testify? The trial is over. The verdict rendered. In case you two clowns didn't get the memo. Ellie. Ellie Yankton. But why? Ah, it doesn't matter. Nothing's changed. I can't. I cannot do that. Why is this so hard to understand here? Yeah, been a thorn in my side, back and foot for 20 years. Maybe it's time I just pull it out. Yeah, you may have a point. Bank transactions. A precise amount was transferred to the judge only the day before the ruling. Doesn't surprise me they'd leave a paper trail. I'm no lawyer, but might be grounds to throw the old verdict out. Maybe we can work something out. <sighs> Fine, you've convinced me. I'd be willing to testify on one condition. I want to know what happened to Irvin. Because when he disappeared, let's just say I had an epiphany. Hephaestus didn't need to say a word. That's when I knew the threats against me and my family were real. Dr. Hawkson, it wasn't Hephaestus that took Irvin's life. It was the war. Irvin was just in the wrong place at the wrong time. Caught in the crossfire. Then I am sorry for your loss. It won't change the past for either of us. But I will testify. And maybe, wherever Irvin is, he'll be glad that we can finally stick it to those assholes at Hephaestus. Thank you, Doc. Yeah, yeah, don't get all mushy on me now. <sighs> I need a drink. Okay, I need to convince somebody to be a potential character witness. I'll ask the bartender again. The terror group kiosk still busted. All this drink sink again. Wait, so let me get this straight. All right, I'm no lawyer, but seems like a bad move. Also, it sounds like work. And I don't work for free. If it's about creds, you might earn a lot of brownie points with the locals if you helped with that. Points they'd spend at your bar. As long as I'm still alive to spend it. But fine. If you get Helgi to show up, I'll take some of the heat off of him. Good. Don't cook yourself out there. Helgi agreeing to testify is a great help. We might need witnesses to vouch for his character, though. Someone in security, maybe? Hello. Okay, you two. Lay it on me. Did you find Helgi? Did he agree to testify? Well, we've got good news and... Well, that's it. Just more good news. Okay. Does that mean he said yes? Wait. The bartender? Aren't we trying to convince people Helgi doesn't have a drinking problem? <sighs> I appreciate the effort, but that might not have been the best choice. Well, you two have done all that you could. Now it's time to hand the baton off to me. What do you think, Ellie? Do we have a chance? 
you've done a pretty decent job gathering evidence for this case. So what's the verdict? In this case, I'd say spoilers are appreciated. I am cautiously optimistic we can win this case. Optimism is good, especially from you, Ellie. We'll likely be able to clear Urban's name and charge Hephaestus with a number of crimes. The only challenge I see is getting all of that and recompense for Helgi. But I'll do my best. All in all, though, really outstanding work. We wouldn't have gotten this far without your efforts. And I've got to imagine that wherever Irvin is, he appreciates it too. Agreed, Ellie. And thanks for being our anchor in this. We should probably get out of Ellie's way and let her do her thing. Yep. We can talk more in private. All right, let's talk. Wow, we actually did it. Solved the case. And hopefully cleared Irvin's name. I feel like, what's the old saying? A great weight has been lifted off my shoulders? But it's actually true. I feel like I'm 80% biomass and 20% aerogel. What's an aerogel? Uh, it's a substance that is literally lighter than air, depending on the planet. Habitable planets tend to range from 1 to 2 milligrams per cubic centimeter. Most aerogels are about a tenth of that. I feel like I'm currently hovering in that territory. Give or take a tenth. I'm happy for you, Barry. Thanks. I was trying not to be too optimistic about our chances, because that's when a cosmic reversal kicks in. But I think it's okay in this case. We've already proven Irvin's innocence, and I trust Ellie to explain it. Uh, do you think things will change on Kagarin? I hope so. It's always a tug of war between the workers and the mining corps. But there's one thing we've got in our favor. And that is? There's more of us than there are of them. All it takes is for the people to realize it. When do you think we'll get a verdict? Ellie would know better than I. But I doubt it'll be any time soon. These things tend to involve a lot of red tape. It's a special kind of adhesive that makes you stick to old filing cabinets and manila envelopes. I'm glad you're feeling better and lighter. I'm feeling great. Although I could do with some wine and cheese. Why stop at emotional satisfaction when we can indulge in the culinary too? But if I can be serious for a moment, thank you. I couldn't have done this without your help. Anything for a friend. That makes two of us. Three if you count Harvey. And who wouldn't? He's practically family. In fact, Harvey's got a little explorer in him too. According to this slate I found, turns out that our spiky friend's been all across the galaxy. You know what? He just might. But it's probably best you chart the course. Harvey doesn't do well with things that require hands. We've been through a lot, haven't we? I had forgotten what it was like to work with someone so closely. On top of everything else we've done together and with Constellation? Yeah, I think so. Investigating Irvin's case with you is something I'll remember forever. I've come to realize that some events... Uh, some people stand out as pillars of my life. Is it? Um, well, I guess it is. <laughs> you noticed that, huh? I suppose I should just keep going and get it all out of my system. It'll do me some good. <clears throat> we only get a brief moment in this universe to interact, to feel. To be who we are and experience the range of emotions that our bodies and minds have evolved to comprehend. And the definition of that changes for everybody. If one is fortunate, you might even notice events and people changing you while it is in motion. You seem so skeptical of Constellation when we first started working together. It's good to hear you say that now. I've explored many worlds, 
and I've worked with Constellation for most of my life. I cherish those memories, but you have changed me as a person forever. I don't want to look back years from now and wonder what if. I need to know what you think about us. Friendship. You took the words right out of my mouth. Now, mind if we get back to exploring this beautiful, mysterious universe with me, Captain? Ooh.